another colorful day to look at what's happening in the creative space. Great to have you join us. I'm Melinda Akinwami. On our lineup today, artists look at the importance of a travel document and movement. Thus, this group show may make you think these artists are just monkeying around. Then a 19-year-old medical student's work goes under the hammer in the nation's capital, Abuja. We have that and more in a moment. Stay with us. You don't need attention to write. All you need is passion for your work and an overwhelming desire to tell a story you genuinely care about. If you want to know about Africa, read our literature and not just things fall apart. Because that would be like saying, I've watched Gone with the Wind, so I know everything about America. Passports, that's what creatives explored at this edition of the Lagos Photo Festival, interpreting the subject in different ways. It's a travel document that identifies an individual with proper authorization. It allows people move from one country to another. That's what artists are exploring in the 10th edition of the Lagos Photo Festival. The theme of the edition is passports, so you will see a lot of works that relate to the theme of cultural identity and to the theme of uh, how the possibility of freely travel around the world and move and this idea of borders, of nations. I think there are many unique things. The most interesting idea is that we managed to put together a group of photographers to reflect on this idea of what it really means to be part of a country or as it even a sense to be part of a country. Is that more important to be part of a community of like-minded people for example? This is the 10th edition of the Lagos Photo Festival. We've been doing this for 10 years now, so it's very surreal to see how it's evolved. And we're glad to be able to have the exhibition on Lagos Island. Um, the theme of the festival is said passports, and we are really interrogating the idea of borders and the idea of identity through a one-page document with your photo ID on it. The idea is to unite global photographers by picking a topic every year which they try to do justice to by clicking to issues that address that subject. I think the theme is really strong and relevant to the occasion, to the time that we are in right now because we begin to interrogate the African identity, we begin to interrogate uh, the idea of xenophobia, what it is to be a Nigerian or a Kenyan or a South African or even a European. I think the whole world is in a flux right now. And I think um, the theme really allows us to engage with some of the problematics. So I think it's a highlight too. The intellectual aspect of it is really quite interesting. We build the exhibition around the spine. And some of the ideas are um, global warming, climate change. We've all observed how even living in Lagos, you can tell that the, the, the climate has changed a lot. And um, so I think there's an urgency to what we're doing. And these are some of the things you'll observe in the exhibition.
with their clicks, these creatives attempt to unravel the essence of having a passport and why it has been passed as the signature document for travel. Uh, the theme passports uh, resonate with a lot of uh, the current geopolitical situation and how countries or nation states are bound and citizens are you know, either given access or denied access to certain spaces. And that's what the passport really uh, typifies or really exemplifies or really harbor. And so the ideas of access and you know, denial is some of the things that uh, embodies the theme of the photo festival. During a certain period of the year, there's what we call the year, that's the rise in tide, you know. And water will invade everybody's house, the streets, and everywhere. So rainy season now. If you come to Barriga now, it's pure hell for the people. Um, and this water does not ask for permission. It does not need passports to come into the house. Now, when AAF, you know, got in touch with me to say the theme of this year's photo, um, Lagos photo, is passports, and I read the curatorial um, notes. I just, it just occurred to me that, oh, it just could be a good metaphor you know, to capture the essence of migration. I'm an artist and I know what it means to move around. The worst thing that can happen to any artist is to be, you know, inhibited, to be prevented from moving anywhere. To any human being, man is migratory by nature. But when people impose passports and visas and, you know, there are borders coming up in places and people are building walls in other places, you know, the question of identity becomes a problem. And you're asking yourself, where do you want to call home? Your country or the place you want to run to? While sharing their different culture experiences, some have taken a more dramatic approach. Check out this installation of luggage and this performance. Um, I, I, I really love most lads um, from Morocco. I think um, his work resonates a lot with what we see in Lagos as well. The fake Gucci and like fake Nikes that we see on the streets. I think, um, I mean, everyone has their own um, identity. Um, but yeah, it's been great so far. Um, I really like his style. I really particularly like this one because it looks like he looks like Pharaoh. He looks like a Pharaoh of Egypt sat amongst the ruins of his, uh, in front of his empire essentially. And he's, he's still, he's proud and he doesn't really, it doesn't matter to him so much, he's still who he is regardless of whatever is, is surrounding him. That's what I like about it. It has a certain defiance. And I, I, I like uh, a lot of the work because it's, uh, you can see pride and spirit within what he's doing. The Lagos Photo Festival is one of the first international photography exhibitions in the country, which began in 2010.
I like the way the artists explore the idea of traveling with a passport, especially that installation that had the luggages. Nice. Now, let's take a moment on the program when we return. A doctor by training, an artist by passion. More about that after we look at the works of art you sent in this week. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week. Let's begin with this epitome of an African woman, which is the headgear, according to this artist. He says it speaks a lot about elegance and style. It's called Gele Series, done by Bolaji. Then Marbo is looking at what makes streets inspiring and authentic. People we meet on the streets, we say hello and move on. Faces that we remember, faces that we don't remember. The storytelling, the food, the vendors, the coffee shop, that homeless man. That's just life on the streets. People we meet. And that's why this artist has titled this work, People on the Street. It's done with ink on paper. Nigeria has a history. There are lots to learn in and from a given book. Nigeria has finally turned out to be history, to be read by what is happening within and around us. That's how Samson Stephen has captured this work of art done with the critical campus. While David is showing this warrior, which he has done with oil paint on a primed canvas. Then this abstract painting called Light of the World is Ariel's interpretation. Ismail has this mixed media work he calls Balance. And finally, we wrap up with this ceramic work of art done by Irabo Victory. It's called Ancient Modern. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming and don't forget for the relevant information beside that image. <laughs>